Empower the use of open source with software composition analysis from Revanera. Hello, I'm Kendra Morton, Product Marketing Manager at Revanera. Welcome to an episode of Revanera's Tech Talk, where we discuss all things related to software installation. Today, we're going to discuss what's new in the Install Shield 2022 R1 release. And a hint, we're going to be talking about the Visual Studio 2022 and custom extensions in MSIX. So yeah, maybe that's a little bit more than a hint. Note to everyone, hang around after this discussion for a quick demo of custom extensions in MSIX. So you'll wanna stick around for that. So welcome once again to our resident install shield expert, Venkat Ramdanga, Principal Product Manager at Revanera. Hi, Venkat. Hey, Kendra. Thanks for having me on these uh, Tech Talks. And I'm so excited to talk about uh, you know, Install Shield 2022 R1. And we've been working on uh, Visual Studio for quite some time, and uh, I can't wait to share that with our uh, users. Great, Venkat. So we just released our newest version of Install Shield, which offers up some integration capabilities with Visual Studio 2022. Can you walk our audience through what this release offers Visual Studio users? Sure, Kendra. So uh, Install Shield has a long history with uh, integration with Visual Studio. Okay, our bulk of our users actually are on the Microsoft's you know technology stack, and uh, you know they're so used to using Visual Studio all through the you know Visual Studio evolution as well, right? And there's some really great integration capabilities from Install Shield. You know, like from Install Shield itself, you can actually uh, from Visual Studio itself, you can actually create an Install Shield project, ensure that the binaries that are coming out from your Visual Studio solution are automatically added into your Install Shield project, and you don't need to actually build these two separately. The Visual Studio's uh, you know, build tasks are now, you know, are always integrated with install shield build tasks so that you have a seamless build process. So our users have, you know, long, you know, been uh, used to this, you know, this integration with the Visual Studio, right? And, uh, you know, this time around, we are proud to announce that, uh, you know, though it is uh, coming a little late in, uh, you know, light of candor, but, you know, we are now proud to announce that install shield now can happily integrate with uh, Visual Studio 2022. Now, uh, what is coming in exactly in 2022 uh, R1 release is that if you're an existing install shield user and you got not, uh, 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 install shield or a Visual Studio project already configured with uh, install shield you can now build open your install shield project from within Visual studio and you can build it upgrade it you know using uh, you know install shield stars right um so i'll, I'll talk about you know why we're doing uh, you know a phased approach but uh, you know this is uh, you know crux of the integration that is coming in in 2022 r1 yeah so we'll talk about that phased approach uh, but there's more planned right for visual studio yet this year so what can users look forward to and why this phased approach to releasing specific capabilities yeah so um we were i mean to be you know candid right so you no know, install shield has always been a 32-bit application and uh, you know uh, though there have been requests about you know how to move to you know to request to move install shield to 64-bit uh, you know binaries you know we haven't been able to get to that item for a long time right but visual studio was not uh, far behind so visual studio just you know 2022 just dropped the ball saying hey we're no longer a 32-bit application we're a 64-bit application right so integration of install shield which is a 32-bit application with visual studio which is now a 64-bit app okay has been uh, you know slightly challenging you know for us and uh, we really had to you know take a phased approach where we uh, unblock our existing customers with you know this integration first okay before we go you know nuts into integrating fully with visual studio 2022 right so what are the various phases we're talking about the first phase okay which is coming in 2022 r1 is you know how you if you're an existing install shield and visual studio user you can now uh, upgrade your existing project from within Visual Studio and uh, you know build using the MS build tasks of Visual Studio. That's phase one. And what are we going to do in phase two is uh, we're going to allow you to have uh, you know create install shield projects you know from within Visual Studio itself. So this has been the seamless integration that you know has always been there. And uh, in subsequent releases, you know, we're going to be razor focused on ensuring that this capability is also done. And phase two of the integration ensures that the end-to-end -end integration between Visual Studio and Install Shield is complete. 
Okay, so that's Visual Studio, but let's talk about um, the um, the second feature that we've uh, that's in this new release of Install Shield: support for custom extensions of, in MSIX projects. Can we start with some introduction around what extensions mean in the MSIX world, and what does that mean, and what can users do that they couldn't do before? Um, sure. So, you know, let me back up a bit about, you know, what extensions are, right? So now most uh, MSIX apps actually require extensions. Now, what are extensions? Now, extensions are essentially, you know, a means for the MSIX package to declare how they wish to interact with the Windows operating system. For example, I'd want to create a firewall exception for my application. I do not want, you know, a Windows Defender firewall to block my application on a, on, a, on a few ports, right? Now, how do I actually say, hey, you know, my MSIX package is an exception for this, right? So how do I do that is by enabling an extension in my MSIX package and declaring that, uh, uh, hey, uh, Microsoft, you know, allow these uh, ports to be enabled by Windows Firewall, right? So these extensions could be either at a package level or they could be an application level. And at an application level, I can say, hey, you know, I'd want to create uh, my application as a startup task. Now, whenever somebody logs on to Windows, I want my application to be run, right? Or, you know, it could be at a package level where we talked about the previous example to say, hey, you know, uh, Windows Firewall, you know, please allow the some requests to go through certain ports, you know, through Windows Firewall, right? So if you have a non-trivial app, I mean, you can always create an application without, uh, you know, any extensions, you know, but it's not the case in most cases. And in most cases, people would want some of the other, you know, Windows uh, features to be, you know, used by their app, right? So if you really have a non-trivial app that requires to interact with Windows OS features, users would really need to declare these extensions and, uh, you know, in their MSIX package. Okay, so what's Install Shield's coverage? And do we have everything that Microsoft supports so far? And then what's our strategy for anything new that comes up? All right, so that's, you know, when we started with the entire MSIX project in Install Shield, you know, we added tons of extension support. You now there's so many extensions available out there and it's, uh, you know, it's becoming a nightmare for us to, you know, keep up with, you know, so many extensions that are available out there, right? So there's so many that comes in and once you figure that, you no, know, instead of providing, you know, out of the box support for every extension out there, you know, we'd rather, you know, have our customers give that extensibility in terms of, hey, define your own, right? So, you know, with third, rather than investing, you know, uh, you know, time in saying, hey, now enable firewall, now enable startup, now enable do this, that, right? So we thought no, we'd write, rather invest in a framework which will allow users to go ahead and, you know, uh, declare their own extensions and add them to their MSIX package. Now, extensions are nothing but, you know, a, a small blob of XML tags, you know, into the Apex manifest file itself into the MSIX package, right? And the custom extension feature uh, builds on top of that all you need to do is you know since you know what extension you are adding you know you would know the schema you would know the namespace and whatnot all you need to do is just copy paste extension tag from the apex manifest file and you know, put it in install shield and build your project right so install shield will take care of ensuring that you know this is properly placed into the apex manifest file when the msix package is built okay very good great stuff then cat Thank you. I'm looking forward to coming back really for the next release to discuss what's new in Install Shield. How about you? Yeah, same here, Kendra. So I can't wait to work with our engineering on uh, uh, you know, working on the next phase of Install Shield. And uh, you know, we'll soon talk about you know, how uh, we can make that happen. Yeah, and obviously, and you know, um, talk about more about Visual Studio down the road and uh, in another release. So Absolutely. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. All right. So to our audience, as promised, hang around. Um, there's a quick demo of what we of um, um, custom extensions in MSIX. So please, please stick around for that. Uh, and we look forward to catching you on an upcoming episode of Tech Talk. So thank you. Hello, everyone. In this short demo, let's take a quick look at how custom extensions can be configured and run using Install Shield 2022. Let's start by creating an MSIX project. And I'd want to create an MSIX project that adds firewall rules uh, in the Windows operating system. Let me start by adding a sample uh, exe application and then create an application for it.
and then you see that we already have a lot of applications that you can define out of the box however if there are any uh, extension that you would like to add which are not available here install shield would be able to allow you to create a custom extension so since we're talking about firewall rules firewall rules is a package custom extension so we would create a new custom declaration and give the name as firewall rules msix and each of these extensions would actually fall under a different namespace so the firewall rules are under desktop to namespace so you'd have to select the desktop, desktop to namespace and all you need to do is paste the apex manifest xml content in here and as usual digitally sign your setup build and let's install we see now that the firewall rule has been added to the inbound rules in windows defender firewall now this is an example of a package level custom extension now let's take a quick look at how you can create an application level custom extension let's start by creating another msix project let's start by adding a new file And now go to declaration section under application declaration section, create a new declaration set and under the declaration set, create a new custom declaration. And let's give a name, startup tasks and startup tasks are under the UAP5 namespace. Let's select that and paste your XML content into this dialog. Let's go ahead and create a new application. Associate the declaration set to this. Let's go ahead and digitally sign the package. Let's build the installer. Install the app. Let's navigate to apps and settings to see if the application has been added to the logon task. You see that this application is now configured to run at logon. So this is how you can actually create custom extensions that are not available in install shield out of the box using your own XML namespace that install shield would take care of adding it to the apex manifest file during the build time thank you empower the use of open source with software composition analysis from revanera